Today, I get to set your house on fire. But let's start with mine. Of course, this is fine. But what if I tell you this is not the only visual effect that you can do with the best free plugin for OBS out there. And what do the NVIDIA Creator SDKs have to do with it? Well, let me tell you. My name is Barry Epps and this is Content Delta. Of course, the plugin I'm talking about is StreamFX, and if you have not heard of that before, I have to ask you, what rock have you been living under? I mean, I didn't use it for the first year of my streaming career, and I have no idea how I managed without it. StreamFX adds filters to your OBS, which you can use wherever you want, and they are absolutely incredible. But before we dive deep into this, we are going to need three things, the StreamFX plugin, the Creator SDKs from NVIDIA, and an NVIDIA G force rtx graphics card wait, wait wait don't leave just yet you don't need an rtx card it just makes life so much easier however i'm gonna show you a way to do it without an rtx card come on do you really think i would be giving you the advice to buy a thousand dollars of gear just to do something cool not a chance Check the timestamps in the description below if you want to jump to the RTX portion, the non-RTX portion, and then after that we go to the fun part, actually using StreamFX. If you end up having any questions, however, feel free to drop into my stream. I stream every Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday over on twitch.tv forward slash mathmaneu, where I venture to answer all your questions live on stream. And if you can't catch me online, then don't forget you can drop into the Discord, where we have an amazing growing community with experts on everything from hardware to OBS to charity streams, and you can ask your questions in there as well. Okay, let's get to it. Let's start doing something. Just on its own, StreamFX is plenty powerful, adding multiple filters to your stream which allow you to transform sources in 3d space add drop shadows or outer glows and the one i use way too much add blurs to your sources but we can raise the power level of this plugin to over 9000 by simply adding the nvidia creator sdks all three of them video audio and ar if you have a geforce rtx card to find these, I've left links to them down below, just as StreamFX, and they all come with an installer, so just install them, it should be simple. After installation, just go to your filters and notice that the list of filters that are available to you have increased significantly. The main addition we'll be using is the virtual green screen, and to see how we use that, let's go into OBS, let's set my house on fire. The first thing we are going to do is make two scenes, a camera scene and an effect scene. As the name suggests, we are first going into the camera scene and add a video capture device to set up our camera. Not only are we doing this once, we are doing this twice. Call the one on the bottom the camera background and the other one the camera foreground. If you have followed any of my other tutorials, you might be able to use a camera once and then source mirror the other camera, which lightens the load on your computer a little bit. If you don't know how to do that, I've left a link in the card up above, which you can check out after you watch this video to learn how to set up your source mirror and many other plugins. Now let's go to the camera foreground source and head into the filters. And there, choose the virtual green screen filter. This will, through the use of the NVIDIA SDK, try to filter out your background. And generally, it's pretty good if you are well lit enough. Make sure to choose the preset that works for you, quality or performance, depending on the strength in your computer. Just give it a try. Having done this, all you need to do now is add one more source, which is the scene source, which adds the effect scene that we're gonna be making in a bit, and put that between the foreground and the background of your camera. See what we've done now? We now have a background, we have a foreground, and effects that can happen in between these. If you're really tech savvy, you might see what's coming next. If, however, you want to do this without an RTX card, you do not have the virtual green screen. So, we'll need an actual one. This does not have to be fancy. You can just grab a green sheet, put it up behind you, and light it well. At that point, it will work perfectly. It doesn't have to be a huge investment. Then you're going to create a scene, which you can call Effect Cam, for example. And you're going to add your camera as an input source. 
Don't have your green screen set up just yet because we are now going to roll out of frame. Make sure to take your chair with you. Right click the preview in OBS and click screenshot. This will allow you to do the exact same as we did with the RTX card. Have a layer between your background and your foreground, but using your green screen instead. Okay, let's do this then. Set up your green screen and add a chroma key or color key filter to your camera. Then go in. Pick the right color from your green screen and try and just play around with the settings until it looks good. Once you've done that, add an image source and use the screenshot you just took. Drag that under the camera and look at that. Perfect. We now have the exact same effect as we had for the RTX version, just without an RTX card using a real green screen. Lastly, we add the same scene source that we did for the RTX cam, the effect scene, in between your camera and your background image. This may make the lighting seem off at some point, but trust me, it is well worth it compared to investing what, $700, $1,000 into an RTX card right now? Now all that's left to do is setting up the effects and they come in two different ways. I'll explain them both to you. One you can use on your own and figure it out. The other one is used to make the this is fine effect that I showed you in the start. The first and easiest way to use these is by using a shader filter and then to use a filter effect. Using a filter effect directly affects the source you are applying them to. So you can, for example, take your camera and give it a cool effect like this which makes your whole camera look like hexagons. Each filter has its own settings, which you can change on the right side. There is a slight bug in OBS where they sometimes don't load. So if you can't see them, then make sure to click the reload settings button. And then you can change them and fine tune them to your liking. The second form is also done by using a shader, but this time as a source, which instead of dot filter effects, uses the dot shader or dot effect effects. When you use these, they do not take the incoming image of the source and change it like we saw just now instead it generates a completely own source as this is what we're going to be using for the this is fine effect you can see why we needed to make the effect scene earlier we don't want to replace our camera we want to put something in between our background and our green screen self to do this we are going to the effect scene and add a shader source then in the shader folder, choose the source on screen now. Yeah, they all have weird names, I know. Don't worry about it. You can rename them on your PC if you want to be able to find them quicker. However, for the purpose of this video, I needed you to know what the original name is, which is why I left it like this. Once that's been added, we need to get rid of the black background because that is not transparent. That is actually black. To remove that, we are going to add a color mask, which will take away all the black. Add a chroma key filter and set the key color type to custom. Them. choose black and now we start playing with the similarity smoothness and spill reduction until it looks good to us no black leakage but not too much of the fire taken away then we close it and we head back to our camera and there we go the this is fine filter effect is now ready for you to use on your stream exactly how you want it to look and you know what the best thing is about all this once you've set all this up you can go into your streamer.bot and set up a channel point redemption or chat command for your viewers to turn off or on the this is fine effect and any of the other things that you might make with the shader using stream effects to learn how to do this go check out this video right here which explains streamer bot to you and how to set this up and if you feel you've learned something or you've just enjoyed yourself make sure to go downstairs click that like button click the subscribe button and if you want to stay up to date to everything that we do ring that notification bell oh and while you're down there leave a comment with what you are going to do using stream effects so we can share ideas across the community i would love to hear them and as always stream better stream smart